Give me 65, no 7, no 75, no 8,000, no 85, a 9, a 95, and now 10,000. No I am just about finished with my chores for the morning and then I'm going to hit the road and go to another horse sale. The auction that I'm going to today is a production sale. It's mostly going to be weanlings and a handful of brood mares and older horses. This is an extremely reputable sale. I did not bring my horse trailer with me today because it's unlikely that any of these horses are going to need rescuing. I will be looking at a bunch of horses for people that can't attend. I'm anticipating that most of these babies are gonna sell for around $5,000, but you never know. When I attend a sale like this, I always like to go through and pick out my favorites and see how they do in the sale. That way, if somebody misses out on them, I will be ready to snatch them up. The sale is at a fairgrounds and they have the babies divided into four pens. There are some broodmares that I'm gonna check out and I head right over to them. They set up pens just for this sale and they had everything separated so it was low stress for all of the horses. All of the horses seemed really relaxed and calm so that was really nice to see. Everybody that I know that has a horse bred by this ranch absolutely loves them. People come from all over the United States and Canada to buy these horses. Now I'm just checking out the two older horses that they have for sale. They're not really that much older. These are yearlings, so the same age as Scarlet. They're both stud colts. I have a feeling that these guys are both gonna go for over $10,000. All of the horses are branded and this ranch has been using the same brand since the 1800s, which is pretty cool. I'm going to head into the first pen of babies. They've all been weaned and started to get halter broke, so they're wearing halters with these drag lines on them. All these babies seemed really calm, so I think the drag lines were just being left on so they could easily get them in and out when the sale starts. I looked at all of the horses online, and judging by the pedigrees, I picked out one horse for myself. And here he is. He is super cute in real life. I've started a handful of colts that were by the same stud as his sire. They were all very good-minded and really trainable, and he seems to have the same attitude. I think he's probably going to go for more than $5,000. If he doesn't, I'll have a hard decision to make. He's a really pretty roan color, and then he does have that coon tail up there at the top. Compared to a lot of the other production sales I go to, these horses were very docile. Some production sales that sell weanlings, you don't even get to go and look at the horses. They sell them right off the ranch. So it was really nice to be able to see the horses in person and try and get an idea of what kind of temperaments they had. When I got into the second pen, there was one filly that caught my eye. All these horses are really nice horses, but this girl really took my breath away when I saw her. She is a really pretty strawberry roan, but I would have liked her if she was plain brown too. I'm going to put her on my list as well, but I think she's probably going to sell pretty high. They did have some really pretty buckskin and palomino colts at this sale. I saw this really handsome black colt that was trying to figure out his drag rope. This is a really good example of how calm these horses are when they get in a bind. He's really trying to use his little tiny horse brain to figure out how to get out of this pickle that he's gotten himself into. This is one of the horses that I'm looking at for someone else and I think he's probably going to be above their budget. They might have me bid on him. I need to get in touch with them before the sale starts to get a game plan together. I'm looking for a colt for someone who is just getting into horses so it needs to be very good minded. The one I had in mind ended up being a little bit too fractious so I'm going to try and pick out another one that will work for her. I haven't seen a horse so far today that I would hesitate to bid on, but someone brand new to horses is going to need a horse with a calmer temperament, so I'm less concerned about the horse's future athletic ability and more concerned about how they're going to get along when they bring it home. There were so many really pretty roans at this sale, it was hard to keep them all straight. Some of them also looked a little bit different than the pictures I saw online since the weather's changing right now. When I go horse shopping and all of them kind of look the same, I try and find markers so I can remember them a little bit easier. This girl had a cool mark on the inside of her leg that I wrote down. The horses weren't overly friendly, but they were really calm as people walked in and looked around them and gave them the once over. I really liked the looks of this little colt. As far as checking for lumps and bumps go, I was surprised all these horses had pretty clean legs. I was really impressed with how nice all of these horses were overall. 
I watched the horses for a while to try and find one that would suit um, the beginner that I have looking for a horse and then I saw this girl she was just very brave and confident and wasn't spooking at anything and was fine being on her own. This is the kind of temperament that beginners really get along with. These horses can be very forgiving to someone that doesn't know what they're doing. I think this one is going to be perfect for the person I have looking for a nice gentle horse. They were interested in a gelding but this mare is just super sweet. I think sometimes people think that all mares are nasty little things but this girl was really really sweet and kind. She had no problems with me poking and prodding her. She just kind of went about her business and ignored me. I really hope they're able to buy this horse. I think it would be perfect for them. At this point I pretty much picked out all of the horses that I was going to be keeping track of for the sale but there are still so many more. Usually at a production sale I am very very picky so I'll only have a handful of horses that I'll even consider bidding on but this is the kind of sale you can mix up your numbers and bid on a horse you didn't plan on and get it home and it will still be a very very nice horse. I saw one other horse that I wanted to write down and keep track of and as you can see on my little list it's getting quite full. It seems like most of the horses that I'm interested in are at the very beginning of the sale, so they'll probably be the most expensive ones. This little buckskin was super sweet, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be over budget for the beginner that I'm looking for. I still even have one more pen of horses to go through. I gave myself plenty of time so I could check out all of the horses so I didn't miss anything. A lot of these horses do look very similar, so I didn't wanna get them mixed up. The last pen of horses was near the end of this big arena. The horses in it did seem a little bit more fresh. I think it's because they could see outside. They may have been getting a little bit annoyed with everybody coming in and out to look at them, but they were a little bit fresher than the other pens. But this is still very calm compared to a lot of the production sales I attend. This big sorrel filly was probably the biggest one I saw at the sale and she was having a lot of trouble making friends with the other babies. She seemed like a really good prospect for all around rodeo events or barrel racing. I wish I had somebody that was looking for a horse like her right now because she would have been a really nice prospect for somebody to bring along. You can kind of see how much bigger she is than the other horses when this little nugget walks past. He's one of the horses that is more cow horse bred. I've already got my bidders number so now all I have to do is go find a spot to sit and it's getting close to lunch time so I'm going to grab some lunch before the sale starts. We're going to get you home here in uh, just about 20 minutes, so we thank you all for joining us. We're glad you're here with us, and uh, we'll get you rolling here shortly. All of the people that I previewed horses for today are going to be bidding online. So unless one of the horses that I picked out for myself goes super cheap, I won't be bidding on anything. They introduced the family that's putting on the sale and said a little prayer and then started in on the horses. The sale ring was set up so the babies could be handled as easily as possible. There was a lot of excitement in the sale arena as the first couple horses sold. This little black filly sold for $13,000. After a few of the horses sold, I was a little bit disheartened because they were selling for a little bit more than I had expected. This colt was super cute and it sold for 7000 Up next was one of the yearling stud colts. This guy had a lot of presence in real life. The bidding very quickly got pretty high on him. He ended up selling for $16,000, which I think was a reasonable amount for what he was. I had this next little filly written down because I thought she was super cute. I think people were really interested in her breeding and she probably has siblings that have done very well because she ended up selling for a lot more than I had anticipated her going for. There were a ton of people bidding on her, not just one or two buyers, so a lot of people were trying to get her bought. I think there was a few people that were bidding on her online as well. This super cute little girl ended up selling for $24,000. I'm pretty sure she was the high seller at the sale. The next horse ended up selling high as well. It sold for $18,000. If you guys have never been to a sale before, it is really exciting when a horse comes in and a ton of people start bidding on her. The bidding on this one started off at $6,500 and just kept going up. After 
after the bidding finally died off, she ended up selling for $16,000. This next little colt was super cool. You could really see his athletic ability in this little pen. I think this little horse is going to be real competitive in the future if his new owners decide to take him that way. This athletic little bugger ended up selling for $16,500. A lot of the horses at the beginning of the sale were selling for more than $10,000. This colt sold for $15,000. Up next is going to be that really handsome black colt that one of my friends was interested in. I did have a little bit of a freak out when this horse was selling because I thought I was bidding on it, but then I realized it was actually the guy in front of me. I zoomed out so you could see how a normal person that attends auctions bids. Every time the ring man points at him and he wants to go up, he just nods his head a tiny little bit. Something I see with people who don't attend auctions very often is they'll wave their hands around and that is a dead giveaway that you don't know what you're doing and sometimes that can affect the price that you get the horse for. There's a lot of bidding strategy that comes into play when you're trying to get a horse for a certain price and bidding against someone that doesn't know what they're doing. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you go to the horse sales. This super cute filly sold for $4,500 and it was the most reasonable horse price so far. But then the prices just went right on back up again. This super cute little bay sold for $13,000. Up next is going to be the one that I picked out for myself. This super cute little bay horse with the coontail. I had told myself I would be okay bidding $5,000 or less for this horse, but after I saw him come in the ring and move around, I knew he was going to be much more than that. Although he was a little bit smaller than some of the other colts, you could just tell that in the future he's going to be very competitive as a cow horse and that's something that I'm really into. He was really quick on his feet and he was really balanced carrying himself around the pen. He was brave but not scared, so he was the perfect combination in the horse that I look for for myself. This little guy is a great grandson of Patty's Irish Whiskey. My horse Goose, who I don't think I've talked about on the channel yet, he's also a great grandson of Patty's Irish Whiskey. In the end, this guy sold for $8,500, which is more than I was wanting to spend for a horse that I didn't actually need, but I'm going to keep it in mind for next year. The next horse was a super cute little Bay Roan and it ended up selling for $8,500. This filly coming up was the one that I picked out earlier, the really nice put together one. She was one of my favorites. She ended up selling for $13,000. It makes it a lot easier to not accidentally buy anything when the horses are this expensive. This one was reasonable at $6,000. This is that really big filly that I looked at in the last pen of horses. She ended up selling reasonable too for $6,500. The prices slowly started to come down a little bit. This one was $7,500. This was a super cute little bay colt. He was really calm in the pen and I thought he would sell for more. The lady that bought him was super excited. I think she got a screaming deal on this one. This sale was a really good example of how weanlings should be treated at a production sale. They spent a lot of time with them before the sale, getting them acclimated to how they were gonna move through the ring, and it really showed. It allowed buyers to get a better idea of how these horses were gonna turn out. Here is that other yearling he sold for 10,000. This one was a little on the sassy side and it sold for 4,000. This is that super sweet Bay Roan filly that I picked out for a friend. She was probably the calmest in the sale. She did end up selling for much more than my buyer was wanting. She sold for nine. There were a bunch of horses near the end of the sale that sold for around $5,000, which is what I was expecting. I have so many horses right now that if I buy one from a sale like this, it's either got to be a really good deal or a really fancy horse. So for the rest of the sale, I just enjoyed watching the horses. A lot of the horses that sold near the end of the sale were out of mares that were unproven. So younger mares, maybe it was their first colt. This can be a really good way to get a deal on a horse. If the mayor ends up producing horses that are competitive, the price of the colts is going to go up. 
I did wait until the very end of the sale to see the Brewmayer sell that they had. This one sold for $8,500 and the Colt sold for $4,500. This was the cheapest horse of the sale at $3,250 and her mama sold for $7,000. With so many people wanting to get their hands on these horses, the sale went pretty quick. I needed to make it home in time to feed my horse's dinner and after a quick stop to buy some overpriced fuel, I ended up getting home just in time to turn all the horses back out for the evening. I know there are a lot of videos on YouTube about horse sales that are very low end and the horses look awful, but this sale was the perfect example of a horse sale done right and quality prospects. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, I hope you're beginning to see that not all horse auctions are horrible places to buy and sell animals and some really nice ones are out there if you just know what to look for. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.